It is the 18th of the 4th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I got a lot of stuff to cover, so we're just going to get right to it. Uh, I'm going to start on SOT.net. BP corrects it oil tar sponged up by human skin. The Surfrider Foundation has released its preliminary state of the beach study for the Gulf of Mexico from BP's ongoing deep water horizon disaster. Sadly, things are getting cleaner fast. Things aren't getting cleaner faster according to their results. The correct corrects it that BP used to disperse the oil now appears to be making it tougher for microbes to digest the oil. I wrote about this problem in depth and uh, they have a link to that. The persistence of Corexit mixed with crude oil is now weathered to tar yet traceable to BP's Deepwater Horizon brew through its chemical fingerprint. The mix creates a fluorescent signature visible under UV light. So uh, you can't see it when you wash it off, but it sticks to your skin. So if you've been out swimming in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, grab a black light and um, see if you have any Corexit on your skin. Uh, rare river porpoises showing up dead. Uh, this is out of China. And within the last month uh, and a half, the corpses of 12 endangered finless porpoises, including a pregnant one, have been found in the Dongting Lake Hunan, a province of China. Um, I'm sure it's due to pollution or whatnot. Uh, they're saying they're very endangered species. USGS uh, reporting a 6.2 earthquake east of the South Sandwich Islands. Now that's way south in the Atlantic Ocean, just north of Antarctica kind of thing. 6.8 in Papua New Guinea, a very seismically active area. And have you been noticing lately 6.0s very, very frequently? Forget about global warming. Scientists discover glaciers in Asia mountain range are actually getting bigger. Uh, not by much, but they're growing, not shrinking. Uh, that might change after the huge methane release from the total gas leak off the coast of Scotland. And uh, 6.7 earthquake off of Chile's coast uh, on the 16th. And that's about all new they've got going on tonight. Over to the extinction protocol. Underwater volcano activity resumes at Greece's infamous Santornini Volcano Basin. Now this is a, a kingdom that was completely destroyed by the volcano um, thousands of years ago and uh, leads back to the legends of Atlantis. Uh, they're saying, da -da -da, quote, our research shows that the lava buildup is accelerating, unquote. And they've been having some seismic activity there as well. And a uh, large explosion seen on the sun's northeastern limb had a big uh, class M1.7 CME release off the northeast limb of the sun. It was a very photogenic uh, release. Uh, quite a beautiful show. And... 49, 49th volcano erupts in 2012. Ecuador's Sangay volcano unleashes two kilometer two kilometer ash cloud. Uh, Extinction Protocol did the math, and they're saying on average um, we get about 66 volcano eruptions a year here on planet Earth. And uh, here it is, four months into it, and we're already on number 49. So uh, it's definitely looking to be a record-breaking year for volcano activity. And uh, Russian. Shulvach Volcano spews ash up to 9,500 meters, uh, that's 31,000 feet, its most powerful eruption this year. And over to the watchers, um, the startling increase in earthquakes across the U.S., quote, almost certainly man-made, um, they're saying all these low-level uh, earthquakes that we've been feeling throughout the United States and the, the Southwest. Um, have been due to fracking. And not to worry, they have everything completely under control. Here's a crazy story. Millions are hungry while food supplies rot in India. And these are the people that can afford a brand new nuclear uh, submarine and an aircraft carrier. India is struggling with too much wheat while the rest of the world is anticipating a shortage. Thanks to the virtual banning of, ex 
of export since 2007, India is producing more wheat than it can properly store, and now the Indian government does not know where to store the bumper grains to be harvested for the third year in a row. Give it to your starving people. Ah, environmental catastrophe. Millions of tires burn in Kuwait. Um, the fire was raging 10 hours after it broke out as hundreds of firemen from several stations with support teams from the Army, the National Guard, and the Kuwait Oil Company have been fighting to contain the fire. Environmental authorities advised residents in the area to stay away and to use face masks due to the toxic gas and smoke from all these tires burning. And that's about all new I want to cover off of there tonight. Uh, over to the RSOE, um, they got a lot of things going on. Uh, big sandstorm sweeps through Egypt, uh, it's their yearly one. Uh, they're saying this one's pretty severe. Flash flooding in New South Wales, Australia, Sydney, and uh, Mooney Mooney region. Uh, they're saying small, intense pocket thunderstorms are rolling through and saturating, uh, and they're getting the heaviest snowfall since uh, 2012 began. I uh, got a big fire in uh, a big forest fire, in Canada, province of Ontario, the Uxbridge area. Uh, another one in China, in Lanoling. Where's the other one? And uh, they're reporting uh, crop damage from the hailstorm in uh, California in the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, they're saying last two, last couple, like this last storm last weekend. Uh, some farmers are reporting 100% crop loss. Uh, they had a, a pummeling of like a 1.5 centimeter hail and uh, tornadoes ripping through the area kind of thing. Um, so expect your groceries to go up yet again uh, if you buy California produce. That's about it for the climate change stuff. Let's just go over to the nuclear stuff real quick. <laughs> Government officials shocked, quote, I never thought there'd be this much of a backlash, unquote. We are not guinea pigs. How will you extract the melted fuel? And how can we believe you are the things that people are screaming at them at these meetings. China syndrome question mark. Japan time on melt through. Quote, molten lava melted bottom of containment vessel. Unquote, says nuclear engineer given access by top official. Huge amounts of fission materials released into the environment. And we all know this. We've been reporting it for months. Over a year now. Uh, Arnie Gunderson's back in the as much cesium in number fuel pool as in all 800 atomic bombs ever dropped. Fukushima would be at one place at one time and on ground level. And they have an audio interview with with uh, old Arnie Gunderson. You got to remember he's pulling the punches because he doesn't want to create a panic. Uh, new study increasing in frequency of selective deaths due to mutations as consequence of Fukushima. Uh, this is a study they did on wild birds um, and this effects is rolling through all the way into Europe. Results suggest significant mortality loss of low dose radiation. 0 0.05 microsieverts per hour considered contamination for these wild birds. Japanese doctor, children's health problems increasing incurables, um, stomatis, chest pain, nosebleeds that don't stop, diarrhea. These are all signs of extreme radiation poisoning. Japan gov government now discussing implementing rolling blackouts. Top official apologize for reactor remarks. Uh, I think these are uh, the government's trying to force its people to turn back on these nuclear reactors uh, by threatening to cut their power off. Um, last year proved, last summer proved, that they can do just fine without nuclear energy. <coughs> Japan Times, the Titanic and the nuclear fiasco. Catastrophic effects of Fukushima fiasco are more far-reaching and long-lasting, unquote. Name has already become synonymous with disaster. Yeah, fuck you, Shima. Um, that's about all I'm going to give you tonight. Um, of course, if I left anything out, please leave your comments or uh, attach your videos below. Uh, one last thing. I'm doing a little project for Skybird Bird, and I kind of want to tease her. So uh, when you work with recycled materials, the frame's built. I'll be sculpting today. But uh, since you're wisecrack about the painting, you don't get to see it till you open it. 
so I'll let you know when it's done. Thanks.